Night Elf. This guy loved dryads back in the days. Of course, he did his fair share of druid, uh, yeah, druids of the talent as well. But if he could live in a world where everyone made dryads, he would do it. I thank you. I was also discussing with a friend about who were the top five orc players of all time. We could only find one true orc player, and hence here's my list. Oh. Grubby, Grubby. That seems like a better list. And finally, Grubby. Of course, the list is highly personal. In the sense that I am personally many times in it. But it seems like a legit list. I am yours. I am hero and obey. Yes! Oh. Yes, hello. Master. Huh? He wanted my circle dust, you see? Master. Yes. Yes, hello. What task is there? Wait. Are you hero and obey? Yes. He's going to the other Hasty now. Excellent choice. I need to get there soon enough. Oh. He's getting boots first, then he will creep jack me here. Or use Ancient of War creeping the shop. Oh, there he is. No dust. Huh? Oh, lol. Yes, Lord. What do you want? 
That's also not good, by the way. Greetings, friend. I really love to see old school players meeting again after so many years. Less than three. Yeah, me too. Yes, 
Cool. It looked like a really tough game at the beginning, but the sapper turned everything around. That was actually crazy. His reaction speed was very fast. He had a wisp at the labo, so he saw it and he reacted nicely. Moonwell survived. Well, luckily, my TC was coming as well. Killed a lot of Moonwells, and it really stopped his unit production. So even though I only got to 50 food, he was never at 50 himself, I believe. Yeah, uh, it's because he didn't get to 50 food and he didn't get his tinker on time due to the loss of resources from those moon wells. Mm, the f I think, although I lost double grunt, that one put me really far behind. But because it didn't become a big creeping game, that one helped me a bit again. And the sapper. And so... B Despite losing the grunts, I had a large portion of raiders and walkers early on. Not late, but early. So I had a lot of mana on spirit walkers. So I could use as many dispels as I would like. You don't want to overdo it because you'll remove spirit link from your own units when you disenchant cyclone. But it was still really good. That feeling you got while watching me and seeing me save most of the units, that would not be possible if he had five cyclone, I mean five talents more or earlier talents. Keep in mind that it's not just about the size of the Knight of Army, it's about how you can use it. So if you delay his talent production because of the Moonwells, although he may get to a food count that would normally be threatening, he only has one Cyclone max on each talent, rather than what would usually be the case, which is like two Cyclones. So that one helped a lot, not as many Cyclones, and that allowed me a lot of micro potential, keeping Demon away from my units with the plentiful raiders and doing enough link and damage with my walkers. Oops. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. Okay. I I created the hawk and then I upgraded it.